This is tutorial 1-9 in the GIS Tutorial 1 textbook. We are on page 39. Item number 1 says save your map document as tutorial 1-9. So let's go to our file tab here and do a save as. And we're going to change the 8 to a 9. And click on save. Close all tables and clear selected features. Um, I have already done that. Uh, if you want to clear selected features, that would be right here. Click bookmarks and we want to go to Florida. And number four in the table of contents, right click US cities, click properties. So let's go to US cities. We'll right click properties is down at the bottom. And we want the Labels tab, so this controls what will be written on this particular feature. This feature is Cities, so it wouldn't actually be written on the city dots, but it'll be written next to them. And we want to click Name right here. So these are all, if you looked at that table that's behind the cities, uh, Name is one of the fields that's there. And it says click the Symbol button right here and so this is where we tell it how we want our labels to look and we want to go to edit symbol here we want to go to the mask tab and we want to put a halo around it and that's a good thing to do because um, if the color of your text blends in with the background, it will disappear. If we have a halo around it, it uh, gives a little space around the text that uh, is different from the text color and therefore different from the background color, so you should always be able to see it. And so we're going to click on OK, and we're going to click on OK, and uh, it didn't say anything about this check mark that I saw. We're going to turn on label features in this layer, then we're going to click on OK one more time. And there are the labels for the cities in Florida, and we've also got New Orleans in here, so it, it's labeling all of the cities. Okay, I just did number eight, except for one thing, so let's go back here and right-click on this and go to Properties again. And eight says to turn on, the, uh, to label the features in this layer. And down here is where the bold is. We want to turn on bold. And then we can click on OK. And so you see they're a little bolder than they were before. They do have a little halo around them. If I zoom in on this, well, the text still stays really small, so it's hard to see. But you should be able to see there's a little white background there instead of the yellow. So even if there was a dark background behind it, we would still be able to see it. Okay, I'm going to go back to Florida, and it says zoom out to see additional states. And I just hit the back arrow here. And here we are. All of the cities are labeled. Now we're at the bottom of page 40. Turn labels off in the table of contents. Right-click U.S. Cities and click label features right here and so that turns labeling on and off and we want to click on it and that turns it off if i go back here and look at uh, label features then that checkbox checkbox is no longer there and number two says to click label features again to turn them back on so now we've got them back on now at the top of page 41 we can convert labels to graphics. In order to edit them individually, you can convert all labels, only labels in a zoomed window, or labels from selected features only. So we're going to go to Florida again, go to bookmarks up here, and select Florida. And in the table of contents, right-click U.S. Cities, and we want to choose Convert Labels to Annotation. And then on number three, we want to select in the map and we want features in the current extent which would be Florida here and New Orleans 
although it doesn't look like New Orleans is visible in the picture on page 41, but it is on page 40. And then we want to click on Convert. So now these labels are graphics, and we should be able to go here and click on our Select Elements button, the black arrow, and we should be able to click on these now, and there we go. I have to drag around it, and now I can move it. I can't just click on it, so you got to drag around it to select it, and once you've done that, you'll get the light blue dotted line selecting it, and we can move these in. There we go. I had just had to click twice. I didn't have to drag a line around it. And that is the end of tutorial 1-9, and that's the end of chapter 1. So we'll save this and go on to chapter 2.